2020 has been a difficult year for everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic has introduced a new normal and ushered a new way of life. While we will take time to adjust to this new way of living, rejoicing in the memories we've made helps us tide through tough times. The Shara, a much-awaited festival, will be a muted one this year. Editor G, however, takes you on a trip down memory lane, helping you visualize the festival in ways in which you have always known it. The Shara marks the victory of good over evil. Festivities and celebrations are spread over 10 days and culminate with Vijay Dashmi. It brings the whole country together, with every region showcasing their respective culture and traditions. The most spectacular celebration for the Shara takes place in the city of Mysuru in Karnataka. It is believed that the name Mysore comes from Mahisasura, a popular demon in Hindu mythology. Here, devotees worship Chamundadeshwari Devi, who is believed to have killed the demon. The Mysuru Palace is lit up with thousands of sparkling lights, followed by a grand procession. The Shara in Kullu is famous world over and an international mega Dashara festival is organized at the Dhalpur Maidan every year. People worship Lord Raghunath, the ruling deity of the valley, and a palki is taking out to celebrate. In West Bengal, Odisha and Tripura, Durga Puja culminates with Vijay Dashmi, also known as the Shara. The festival is celebrated with Sindur Ki Holi at the Grand Pujo Pandals. It marks the victory of Goddess Durga in her battle against Mahisasur. Grand processions are held and idols of the goddess are immersed in the river or the ocean during Durga Visarjan. Different recitations of the Ramayana in the form of a Ram Leela show are held across North India. On the 10th day after Navratri, huge effigies of Ravan, Kumbhkaran and Meghnath are burnt to symbolize the end of evil and mark new beginnings. In Andhra Pradesh's Vijayawada, Goddess Saraswati is worshipped in beautifully decorated temples. While the festival of Dashara takes on different hues across India, the underlying belief of victory over evil unites everyone. <laughs>